there, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love, plus all zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for this week from now to July 24th. Keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for anyone who has Leo in their chart. We're going to start off with the general spread that can resonate with anyone. And then we are going to look into each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you for the week. So let's see what the week is doing generally for love. What can I have for my beautiful Leos in their love lives for this week? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Leo. So you have... Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you also have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, single Leos. Single Leos. This is looking really good. I definitely feel like for a lot of you single Leos, you have been working on the love you have for yourself. Definitely could be feeling some lighthearted energy from somebody. Somebody may spark some interest with you and show you that through some flirtation. Some of you definitely have been putting yourself first in your current romantic situation and it's going to make your person be more affectionate towards you. It's definitely showing that the more you've been loving yourself, the more you've been putting yourself first, the more you've been respecting yourself, your boundaries, and what you want out of love, the more attractive you are and the more you are attracting in somebody that wants to extend their interest in you. New new love, definitely a good combo for that. Others of you, if you've been wanting your person, um, specifically a, an addition, what am I saying? Spe specifically a person possibly from your past to be more lighthearted with you to be more fun to be more affectionate definitely good sign for that definitely showing that you are receiving some attention some sort of romantic gestures because you have been putting yourself first so let's see what they have in the tarot what's coming towards leo thank you so we have here the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Swords. So for a lot of you, you definitely have been in a process of healing, and it hasn't been that easy. Definitely has not been that easy. I feel like a lot of you Leos have been very much in your head, very much stressing out, overthinking as well. Clarify this for Leo. Four of Pentacles. So a lot of you are very closed off towards whoever this person is. Whoever's trying to flirt with you. Whoever's trying to bring lighthearted energy to this situation. Either because you are still healing or this person specifically hurt you. Some of you, they may be acting like nothing happened, nothing went wrong, or they did nothing. That's giving me that combination for that message. Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Nine of Swords to the Moon. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you Leos, um, you, this person has hurt you. There's two stories here. So some of you, this specifically is coming from somebody who hurt you. I feel like you're kind of annoyed at the fact that they're being lighthearted. You're like, okay... Why are you acting like you didn't do anything wrong? Why are you acting like you didn't hurt me? Why are you acting like I should just let you into my heart sort of thing? Clarify this for Leo. Others of you, you are hurt. You are healing. And there's a new person here. Um, but you're not that open to it. Let's see the star. The nine of wands. The two of wands. Yeah, wow. Wow. You look extremely closed off here. That's definitely why you have the flirt energy. Somebody's going to try to get you to open up. Clarify this for Leo. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Magician. So, 
Some of you, this person specifically hurt you and they're not like letting you walk away, even though they did hurt you and they're not really offering anything. Great. Clarify this for Leo. Hanged man, seven of swords and the knight of swords. All right. Clarify this magician to the knight of swords here. Two of cups, page of swords, three of pentacles. Okay. Leo, um, some of you, this is definitely a past person or your current person. Let's start with that. Um, they definitely hurt you. They did. They caused pain to you. But I don't feel like this person is, at least you don't feel like they're taking what they did seriously. That's what I feel. And I feel like it's pissing you off. I feel like it's annoying you. I feel like it's making you feel stuck. What do I do? Do I walk away? Do I stay? I feel like a lot of you are trying to block out this energy. You don't trust them. You feel like they're deceptive. You feel like this person is uncertain. They don't know what they want. But here they come with the Knight of Swords, the two of... I was wondering, why is Flirt up there if they're just causing Leo all this problem? But here it is, acting lighthearted. Knight of Swords, it's going to happen quickly, so it's going to be like nothing, and then all of a sudden, Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So this person is going to say something very minimally to get you to want to work together with them. So I feel like that's the problem here. This person isn't taking what they did seriously. This person isn't taking the hurt that they caused you at the level of seriousness that it hurt you at. And I feel like that's annoying. I feel like that's frustrating for you. I feel like that could be causing you to nitpick a lot or to be very, um, sorry to say the word, like nagging. Because you feel, I mean, I would too. Like, why are you um, invalidating what you did to me? It's like this person's like, okay, Leo, like, just get over it. Like, maybe not in that way. But that's kind of the way they're coming across. Like, oh, hey, Leo. Hey, how are you doing? And it's like, do you know what you said to me yesterday? Do you know how you treated me yesterday? And now today you're like, hey, how are you doing? So some of you, you're going to get that. Unfortunately, sorry, I got to say what comes out. It's either a past person or your current person that has been keeping you stuck. They've been keeping you hurt. They've been inconsistent. They've been manipulative. They've been stressful. And you're going to choose a new path away from this person. I definitely see you trying to love yourself more and try to, to distance yourself from this person. And I feel like they're going to try to be lighthearted, try to work together with you on a level of, I don't have to do anything or make anything up to you. You should just be happy with me now. That's what they're going to do. Sorry. That's what it looks like. Others of you Leos, um, second story here or the other story I have is that you're in a position of walking away from pain, from hurt. You're definitely healing. You're definitely closed off emotionally. You're definitely trying to avoid deceptive energies. You're trying to avoid people who may cause you pain. I definitely see somebody coming in that wants to engage more with you on a romantic level. I don't see that they're saying much, saying anything with too much depth though. So that's still the same message. And I do get with that with the flirt and I do get that with the spread. So in both stories, this person isn't coming with much depth of words. For the second story, that's kind of okay because this person is being lighthearted. They're being flirtatious. Um, you know, just opening up to each other on a level of let's see, those sort of things. If this is somebody who actually hurt you, caused you pain... Those sort of things, I feel like they should be a lot deeper in the way they communicate and they're not. That may be why you're in a position of really trying to put yourself first. But that's what I got. This newer energy could definitely be somebody that you met through a friend. You could have met this person through work, through a work scenario, through a work endeavor, maybe an online thing. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, like an online dating app or an online something along those lines. In terms of Zodiac signs as well, very strong Pisces. You also have Aquarius and Gemini. Really could be dealing with anybody or all energies. 
Penny energies could be in the chart. So that's what I have for the general message. Let's get to the second portion of this reading out. And we are going to be doing each zodiac sign's feelings and actions. So we're going to start with the Hidden Truth Oracle. Spirit, please show me. This is for Leo, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo for the week. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Thank you. All right, let's get the feelings tarot all the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo for this week. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo for the week. All right, and last but not least, we're getting the actions. Spirit, please show me each zodiac sign's actions toward Leo for the week, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's actions towards Pisces for the week. I mean, I'm sorry, all the, each zodiac sign all the way from Aries to Pisces actions towards leo it's so confusing when i have them at the end towards the week for this week all the way from aries to pisces actions towards leo for this week all right there we go let's get started leo we have aries feelings for you as I love you and the eight of pentacles. So Aries definitely has feelings for here, for you here. I do feel like Aries could be working um, very hard on their work scenario, their career, leveling up financially, but they do have strong love for you. Their actions towards you are the king of wands. So Aries is definitely interested in pursuing you, nurturing this connection, seeing where it goes. They're highly attracted towards your energy and they absolutely want to continue to put effort into this. Taurus feelings for you. I know I crossed the line with you and the eight of swords. So Taurus is really in their head over this connection, overthinking, thinking worst case scenario. They definitely feel like they're in a mental prison right now. They know they crossed the line with you and they definitely could have ruined a lot. They're really in their head about it. Their actions towards you are the Knight of Cups. So they're very interested in continuously pursuing you. Or they do want to pursue you romantically again. Eight of Swords. I feel like they're really confused on how to do it. But they may attempt this week. They may try to give you some I love yous as well. Gemini's feelings for you. My life is not as together as it seems. And the Hierophant could be in a... Commitment with a Gemini or working towards a commitment with a Gemini or Gemini just may, may be very work focused. Their actions towards you are the four of pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Gemini who is holding on to this connection for dear life, yet they're not really doing anything to make the connection grow. Others of you, you're dealing with a very closed off Gemini. They could be having money issues and that's why they're closed off. They make it seem like they got everything going on. Their work is fine. Their life is fine. When in reality, it is influencing them greatly. Cancer's feelings for you. You came closer than anyone. And the Five of Swords could have been a breakup, some sort of argument or some sort of conflict between you and Cancer. They are indicating they let you as close as they let anyone in their life. Their actions towards you are the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like Cancer still feels like there's a lot of value, support, and strong foundation with you. Some of you at Cancer definitely wants to reignite this and still have stability with you. Others of you, they could just be spending a lot of time with family and a very large family focus. Leo's feelings for you. I left when I saw you with someone and the Three of Swords. Definitely could have been a third party energy involved or assumption of a third party here influencing this connection i left when i saw you with someone could have been you could have been them you are leo their actions towards you are the four of wands so somebody's definitely in another connection here or somebody is very hurt that the other person has moved on 
I feel like despite that, Leo still feels like you're somebody that they could commit to, which is a little bit weird and contradicting, especially if there's another person there. Virgo, I wish things could be different and judgment. So Virgo definitely wishes things could be different. They absolutely want a second chance in this connection with judgment. Or they do want a different decision to be made about this situation. Whatever was decided, Virgo feels like it didn't go in their favor. And they want things for this connection to move more in their favor. Their actions towards you are the high priestess. So I feel like they're trying to figure you out. I feel like they're trying to... Be careful. Virgo doesn't try to like manipulate you into giving them a second chance. High Priestess Judgment could do that. Others of you, I just feel like they're trying to read you. They can't read you that well. They're trying to intuitively connect to you. You may be picking up on Virgo's thoughts and feelings or vice versa. We have Libra's feelings for you as I want you and the Two of Cups. So Libra is definitely very interested in coupling up with you. They feel like you are a soulmate of theirs and they absolutely are interested in seeing where this goes. Some of you are already coupled up with a Libra. Others of you are just going to continuously get stronger with a Libra. The actions are the Ten of Swords. So I definitely feel like for some of you, you met this Libra after an ending or there was endings with this Libra and now there is a reconciliation. We have Scorpio. I look for you everywhere in the Seven of Cups. Scorpio's definitely having dreams. They're seeing signs and synchronicities about you. They're looking for you everywhere. Maybe Scorpio feels like they'll run into you eventually if you two live not too far from one another. Their actions towards you are the chariot. So Scorpio is in the position of moving on, moving forward, but I still feel like they're looking for you around. They're making it seem like they're in this movement forward, but I don't really think they even know where they're going. Some of you, you could just be at a distance from a Scorpio. Sagittarius, you and I were too young. And the Seven of Wands could be dealing with a very defensive Sagittarius. A Sagittarius who may be in a position of not being um, the greatest to deal with. Their actions towards you are the Empress. So Sagittarius is definitely interested in having something stable. I feel like they're just working very heavily on themselves. I feel like they're putting a lot of effort into leveling up. And that may be why they don't feel like things are ready or things are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That you two are mature enough, if that makes sense. Capricorn's feelings for you. Oh, hello. Capricorn's feelings have fallen. Um, you were the best thing in my life. Their feelings are the nine of cups. So Capricorn is definitely wishing and hoping for you. They feel like you were the best thing that ever happened to them. You are their wish fulfillment. Their actions towards you are the queen of cups. So they definitely may be a little bit emotional with you this week. Or they may emotionally confess their feelings towards you. Definitely could have some sort of emotional something with a Capricorn. Next we have is Aquarius, I regret lying to you, and the Ten of Wands. So Aquarius feels the need to put down this connection. Maybe they felt very, it was very hard to keep this lie from you, and now they're opening up. Their actions towards you are the Three of Swords. Yeah, so Aquarius definitely did something that hurt, um, or they definitely did something that caused pain to this connection. They do have very strong regrets on whatever they did that caused you pain. I feel like they're feeling the burden of that. They may be getting their karma. They're feeling the sense of pain over what they caused you. Pisces, feelings for you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And the Ace of Wands. So Pisces is still interested in you. They're interested in talking. They're interested in re-sparking the spark between the two of you. Despite it being really hard to let you go, I feel like Pisces is still interested in you, still attracted. Their actions towards you are the two of swords. So I feel like Pisces is very uncertain on what to do. They know they're attracted towards you. They know they feel this towards you, but they are very indecisive about if they want to take action and on how they may not make a decision or they may pretty up in the air on their actions. Let's make sure everyone's out for you, Leo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, Leo, let's get you an ending oracle for some advice for romance. This is for Leo for this week. Give some advice for Leo. Oh, okay. Cards have fallen. 
Okay, and this is the card you got. And it says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, so some self-reflection is definitely needed here in terms of your love life, despite what you're dealing with and going through. So, Leo, thank you for being here and for watching. Do not forget to like this video. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. We do have a giveaway going on right now. I will link down below what reading you need to comment on to enter to win. The winner will be announced within the next week or so. And Leo Plus is done and out for July. So if you are looking for a love reading for Leo Plus, a specific sign, you can find that on the channel. They will start up again in August. In August, there will be double Leo Plus because it is your season. I will also get out a lot more bonus readings for you as well and have a fun live put together too. And we're doing a huge Leo birthday bonus giveaway. You do not want to miss out on that. It's going to be announced on the 8-8 portal day. So thank you, my beautiful Leos. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see and talk to y'all soon. Bye now.